So I found something really cool. A few nights ago I was brought to my attention about some neat easter eggs found in a particular Sonic track specifically in a game called Sonic Rush. If you don't know the track itself is called Wrapped in Black and is the final boss theme for the game. When you initially listen to the song you will hear some interesting lyrics. However these are not just lyrics but they turn out to be samples. I want to go over the origins of these samples because when I found out where they came from I was quite blown away. I want to check out the first sample. If you're a black history enthusiast, this might actually sound familiar to you. I'll even put the lyrics up to help you out. It's just like when you got some coffee that's too black, which means it's too strong. Yeah, it turns out the lyrics too black too strong are actually pieces of a Malcolm X speech, but that's not the only sample in this song. Here's the second one. We are the Watts. Prophets. Rapping Black. Rapping Black. Yes, according to the fandom wiki, the lyrics Rapping Black is from a short track called Sell Your Soul by the Watts Prophets. Funny enough, the sample is edited so well that the sound design allows it to be swapped in for the title of the track wrapped in black. As cool as it is to find this out, I'm actually not that surprised. The Sonic franchise has always had close ties with black people in our culture. Take for example Michael Jackson as being a direct inspiration for Sonic's design, or the fact that Jaleel White aka Steve Urkel was actually the first English voice actor for Sonic in the cartoons. There was also a black rapper called 100% aka 100p who did the vocal tracks for Knuckles' music in Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic is pro-black anyone? <laughs> 